Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Guys, first of all, it's been a while since I've uploaded a video where I'm sitting in a studio again and really just... <laughs> I'm in a good mood. I've been in a great mood. I think I needed some space from YouTube to clear my brain, clear my head. And I'm personally on a fitness journey and it has me feeling good. So we're on week three. But besides that, I have been consistently working out, getting my energy levels up, feeling good, feeling great. And it has inspired me to come back behind the camera and put out some quality content. <laughs> so we're back here. So today in this video, I kind of wanted to do a wig video that's different from your basic regular install but i know this whole that girl soft life black girl luxury thing is trending it's a thing now i don't care for all the labels i think it's stupid i think soft life black girl luxury that girl i think it's just lab ways to group each other and box each other into categories that i don't like However, I love the look. <laughs> so, so with that being said, I am going to do a video based on that look type of hairstyles, right? Now, I do like the aesthetic of certain things when it comes to the that girl lifestyle. And so I feel like this video would be perfect because this is kind of my look. It's just that I wouldn't categorize it. I would just literally say I like a claw clip or I like my hair to have the two pieces and a nice clean look. You know what I'm saying? Enough chit chat and today I'm gonna be doing a wig install. Today I'm gonna be installing the wig from my first wig. This is what we have. Let's see what it is. 18 inches, silky. This is perfect, this is perfect because I didn't want it to be too long. I'm gonna keep my hair in a low ponytail like this. Um, this wig cap is too dark for me, so we're gonna go ahead and get another wig cap that's gonna be a little bit lighter. Oh, and if you're seeing any of these like things on my face, it's for my zits that are just popping up as they please because of the dairy that I decided to eat yesterday. So back to no dairy for me. I didn't even know I was so sensitive to dairy until this happened. Oh, you know what? And if you have a little button like this, take it out. Ignore my armpits. <laughs> Put it in a ponytail, but keep it flat. And then we're gonna go ahead. And the reason why you want this flat is some of the hairstyles we will be doing will be kind of like showing the shape of your head to a certain extent. So not bulky, nice and flat. Cut the air tabs already to make sure it fits nice and comfortable around my ears we are gonna have to spray this down i know that sucks but we're gonna have to spray it down because some of the styles will require me to be pulling the hair back or just certain things so it allows for more flexibility unfortunately you can do it glueless if you're a pro at it but if not spray it down So now that we have the wig on our head installed, stuck in place, not gonna move anywhere. <laughs> Why am I talking like this? We're gonna go ahead and start to style it. Now with the that girl type of uh, look that I see, you don't really got the big crazy baby hairs. The whole look, the whole soft girl look, it's like a clean aesthetic, a clean look, like a clean type of finish. Like you're not gonna have like big bold red lips. You're gonna have like a shiny lip gloss type of look or baby hairs. You're not gonna have huge ass baby hairs instead you're gonna have your baby hairs look more tamed and combed out of your face or a little bit left out so we're gonna mimic that because yeah <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, y'all. So now that we have the hairline basically perfected, it looks really good, natural, you know, sleek. Now what I'm gonna do is I feel like I need to perfect the middle part. I see a lot of middle part hairstyles. So we're gonna do about five hairstyles. Let's go ahead and get started on the first one. I'm gonna go ahead and do a voiceover, speed through them so that it's not a long ass video. So this hairstyle is probably the easiest one that we're gonna do today. Actually, a lot of them are easy, but first things first is to perfect the middle part. You have to make sure it looks good because we're gonna need a middle part for most of the hairstyles. Now, I did use mascara to go ahead and make sure my part looks super sharp. Do not put this on the lace, put it on the hair, on the root that's as close as possible to the middle part. Next, go ahead and scoop out two parts by the front. You can make them thick or thin. I prefer to have it to be kind of like thickish. I did use my hot comb to go ahead and flatten it to make sure it stays within that direction. And then I used my curling, actually my flat iron, sorry, to just create some curls towards the end of the hair, a little bit of volume. And I did this because you'll see that in most of these hairstyles, um, whether it's on TikTok or Instagram, there is a little wave, a little loose curl, nothing too tight, nothing too crazy, you know? So I did this with the curl nine. I have to fix that other curl to ignore that. But you now want to take two pieces, well, two sections from each side, and, and this little cute clip thingy that I will have linked down below, really inexpensive, maybe it's literally under $2. And we want to kind of just scoop back the top part, you know, and put it in this clip. And it gives it like a very natural look outside of just using a scrunchie. So I kind of like it. I'm lying. I kind of love it. And this was hairstyle number one. Now I did go ahead and trim the pieces. I did think it was too thick. So as you saw me scooping back here, but this is the first hairstyle let me know what you guys think down below let's go ahead and go on to hairstyle number two so on to hairstyle number two now this one now this one is the easiest one okay take out two little pieces by the ears and you want to just give it a little curl and then trim them right now for this style again you can do this with your eyes closed you can do it it's just so easy it's just so easy <laughs> next you want to go ahead and start putting your hair into a low ponytail and you want to just twist 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 and then use a claw clip it's a claw is it called a claw clip i think it is you're going to use this and you just want to squeeze it in place and then just fluff the ponytail fluff the hair to your liking as you can see I'm completely fine like this. I see some girls leave out less hair. So that's totally an option as well. If you, as, and when I say less hair, I mean like they really put the claw clip to the top of the ponytail, as you can see I'm doing now. Um, so it's totally a, per a personal preference and up to you and what you like. But here is hairstyle number two. Let's take a minute. Let's, can we have a moment for this hairstyle? I love it. It's definitely given 90s. It's definitely given effortless. And it's definitely my vibe. <laughs> So maybe at this point, I should probably stop saying that every hairstyle is easy because <laughs> this one is probably the easiest one. But we have this headband. Um, it's doubled, as you can see, and I think it's so cute. So basically, push the hair back and put on the headband. <laughs> like, this is what I'm trying to say. Like, all these vibes, all these hairstyles are so my vibe. Like, they're just so easy. They're effortless. You know, if you don't know how to do hair, you damn sure know how to do all of these, okay? Life is easy. But the real thing is you have to have a good wig. If you don't have a good wig, if it doesn't look natural, if it doesn't feel good, it's going to be harder to achieve these looks, you know? You want it to mimic the way your real hair would fall, how your real hair would basically, you know 
interact with the the items that we're using so a good wig is the biggest thing that you need to create these looks but here i am just playing around with my hair throwing it from left to right seeing how i like it and again this is definitely another fave i also purposely didn't wear lashes for this video because i really wanted to give you the the real you know effortless look and so i actually like it usually i need lashes but i actually really like the way i look so this next look is definitely giving a clueless type of vibe i did go ahead and trim my bangs up because they were a little uneven um since they were curled in the previous hairstyles i also did straighten the hair so these are the clips that we're going to use you can use black or brown but i'm going to use brown so that you can see it properly and then you could just place two on each side so super simple the clips cost like less than two dollars you can get from amazon the beauty supply store or whatever you like okay and then go ahead and just flatten in the hair once you flatten in the hair trim it to your liking you're basically done literally less than five minutes of a hairstyle and again i'm gonna express and stress to you guys this is why you need a great wig because you can switch it up on them without having to reinstall and do all this extraness and have baby hairs and so forth so yeah let's go on to the next hairstyle Here's another 90s look. Now, this one, y'all, I didn't have no hair when I was a kid. I had like, I had like a little bit of hair. Yes, my mom permed my hair when I was a kid, <laughs> okay? That's my story and I'm sticking to it. But I could never do this hairstyle. And look at it. Look how cute this is on the wig. Like, get some butterfly clips and you're just gonna just scoop some hair and slide it back and then clip it. Now, you can, you actually can flat twist it you can braid it you can do either or but i just wanted to make life simple since we're showing a series of hairstyles no point in making it over the top now this is also good for people who can't flat twist or braid so you can get this hairstyle by just doing this look But I really loved it. Go ahead and just straighten out your bangs. Um, what else did I do? I just cut the hair a little bit. And that was it. It was kind of like a blunt cut. So I wanted to just make it a little bit more, you know, natural looking. I think this is my favorite hairstyle. I don't have my mic on, guys. So it might sound different. But I think this is my favorite one. This is so adorable. I see why the girls are doing this one. Like, this is just giving me 90s. But I was, I was born in the 90s, so I couldn't enjoy these kind of looks that Moesha and the Parkers was doing. So, so I didn't really straighten out the ends either. I'm kind of just leaving it with a little bend to it. Um, you can straighten it if you want. I just didn't feel like it. Okay, so this one is similar to the claw clip one that we just did, except it's a low, messy, effortless bun. I've been seeing a lot of people do this one as well. And as you can see, I did put a little bend in my bangs, so a little, like, you know you know like a little curl or something and this is how the back looks super easy effortless listen i love this one too this one is giving me like a hot summer day i just finished doing my pilates i have my hand on a little bun or i'm cleaning my kitchen looking cute <laughs> i don't know so for style number seven you know i thought we were gonna do five hairstyles but here we are at number seven so this one so this one's just gonna be a ponytail now i'm not spraying the back of my head with no gotta be glue or putting no um glue on the back of my head so just pull down the hair in the back so that your edges are not showing like you see how like mine's is like you know a little picky and it's showing yeah you just want to cover that up so once you do that take the little circle clip that we used earlier and this entire hair like all the hair should fit in that little thing and it just gives it a different look to a ponytail so definitely another vibe and then for these little air pieces i just curled it so i could have like a little bit more character i don't know why it's not coming out right yeah skip to the end <laughs> but this is the end result guys absolutely love this one too this is good for the gym okay so now that you guys have seen 
those hairstyles i really hope you guys try to replicate it i feel like a wig should be worn in many more ways outside of the what's down middle part okay so let's go ahead and utilize our investments to its full potential okay do hairstyles try different products try different things and see what works for you it's gonna be a very hot summer okay not a hot girl summer but a hot ass summer okay so make sure you have styles that work with your body i sweat a lot so anything in an updo anything with the with this little thing is gonna do justice because it's hot to tell all right so i'll see you guys in my next video remember everything is down below for you guys to check out and see ya